Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me here. I pray this message finds you well and full of love and light. If you're joining me here from watching my other video, thank you so much. If this is one of your first videos um, you've ever seen, thank you for clicking and seeing what this is about. My name is Aisha and I will be going over a series of topics where I'm going to explain some things that are seemingly obscure and try to break it down in its simplest forms. So this video will be going over meditation and what is meditation. So simply put, meditation is the process or the act of changing the frequency or the pattern vibration of your mind. So what does that mean? Right now, um, I personally, my mind is operating in what is considered to be beta frequencies. And science will tell you that the mind um, operates in different frequencies. So you have beta, you have alpha, you have theta, you have delta, and you have gamma. So beta is the waking state. That is the state that most of us do our day-to-day -day activities in. The alpha state is the state in which you could find yourself daydreaming. It is also the state that you, are, you um, switch to right before going into sleep. Theta is essentially the sleeping frequency or one of the sleeping frequencies, but it's the frequency that you are in for most of your, your uh, sleeping. And then you have delta, which when you go into what they consider REM cycles, you oscillate between theta and delta frequencies. So delta is a deep, deep sleep and then theta is your lighter sleep. So you oscillate between the two. And then you have gamma. Gamma is something completely different. Um, it's really interesting if you've ever gotten yourself down into gamma or if you are familiar with that, <laughs> kudos to you. I've done it once, it was really interesting. Have not done it again. Um, I'd like to, but it's just... <laughs> Anyway, so um, simply put, meditation is switching between those frequencies. You do it unco unconsciously for the most part. So when you're in beta, walking around, do -do 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 -do, doing what you're doing, and then you stop and you start thinking about things and daydreaming, now you've unconsciously switched into alpha when you start daydreaming. Um, when you start to wind down at night and you're, you know, going to sleep or when you start to feel tired and not necessarily like, you know, you're dead tired, um, but that, that process of winding down, you're going into theta and you're doing that unconsciously. You're more times than not are not aware of the fact that your brain frequencies are switching. And then once you go to sleep, you're completely in theta. And then you go um, again, you oscillate between theta and delta. Okay. So meditation is the act of consciously switching between those frequencies. Now, why would a person want to consciously switch between those frequencies? Well, the different frequencies allow for better communication with your subconscious. So if you are able to consciously switch your frequencies from beta to alpha and to theta and even delta and still be awake, then you are better able to communicate with your subconscious your subconscious operates at a certain frequency and it's about the frequency of delta and even gamma. So um, that's why when you're asleep, um, they say that that is, you know, the subconscious at work when you're dreaming, that's your subconscious that is, you know, going through all the things that you do while you're asleep, um, whatever adventures that you're on while you're asleep. 
um, that that's your subconscious. And so essentially, when you're able to consciously switch between the frequencies, then you are able to set intentions in those frequencies and better able to communicate with your subconscious. So that is what meditation is. That's what it is. Now, how you do it and what you do while you meditate is something completely different. But meditation at its core is switching between the frequencies of the brain or the mind. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. We can go into further detail. Um, my other videos will probably be more about what you can do while you're meditating and how to meditate. Um, people do meditation differently. Um, some people, when they get so adept at meditation, you can do walking meditation because again, it, all it is is switching between frequencies. So you can do it while being seemingly conscious and even, you know, looking and even talking to people. You can, you can meditate at that time. You can switch between frequencies while communicating with other people, um, while walking, while doing other tasks, while, while you drive, um, nine times out of 10, you you do for switch your frequencies uh with that being said uh thank you for watching this video look forward to doing more of these and i'll see you in the next one peace